Hey, want a great deal on a graphics card? Stop. In your quest to save money on an admittedly expensive component, you might end up buying a fake. But hold on, fake graphics cards, how is that a thing? I mean, you can't exactly cook up an RTX 4080 in grandma's basement from tinfoil and copper wire, right? Right. What's actually happening is that shady merchants are making Franken cards with GPUs and video memory re-soldered onto different circuit boards. Okay, but if the GPUs and VRAM are legit, why is this a problem? Well, for starters, the parts are often harvested from cards that had some kind of problem, from customers that returned faulty units to cards that failed quality control testing at the factory. Now, this doesn't mean that the GPUs and VRAM modules on these fake cards are broken or don't work, but it does mean you have no assurances as to what kind of shape they're in, and they might not deliver the type of performance or longevity you're expecting. There are also no guarantees that the parts have the same soldering quality you'd get when buying a card from a legitimate source, or that they'll work together as well. Remember, specific GPU models tend to be tightly integrated with the VRAM that they come with, so if the parts are reassembled differently, you're introducing a pretty major point of failure. But perhaps the bigger problem with fake cards isn't that these sketchy sellers are just piecing them together and hoping for the best, it's that many of them are actively lying to you. I feel like I'm being gaslit. We'll tell you just how far their dishonesty stretches right after we thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is a hands-on and interactive way to learn STEM topics. They offer thousands of courses with new topics to learn each month, like their everyday math course. Simply honing your ability to learn and think will translate into everyday aspects of life. Their services can be used to supplement a college education or just to expand your knowledge. The first 200 people to head to brilliant.org slash techwiki will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Many of these fake graphics cards are sold as new, but not only is this untrue because they're being made with old harvested parts, but the GPU and VRAM might have already suffered physical damage. It's not uncommon for these parts to be heat damaged due to either improper soldering or use in cryptocurrency mining at some point. Sometimes you can tell because they'll be slightly yellowed. Really unscrupulous sellers have even been known to repaint VRAM modules to make them look like new, when in reality, they're anything but. If you're suspicious about a card you've bought recently, you might even be able to scrape that paint off to confirm you've been swindled. Even worse, there are plenty of stories about low-end GPUs being passed off as something much more powerful. Scammers will flash a custom BIOS onto the card, which makes it appear to the operating system as whatever model the scammers want you to think it is. So when you go to play a game or even update a modern driver, you'll get performance far below what you're expecting, or even crashes. Although certain programs like GPU-Z can sometimes determine if your card has a hacked BIOS, that doesn't mean that scammers have completely given up on selling these imposter cards. And there's really no way to know what they're sending until it arrives at your house. But where are people getting these fake cards from anyway? Some come from sites like AliExpress and Wish, where the precautions against counterfeit merchandise just aren't as strong. While others can even come from sites like Amazon Marketplace, which are a bit more reputable, but still rely on third-party sellers, to be honest. Do yourself a favor and buy cards from sellers you trust, and manufactured from well-known add-in board partners you've actually heard of before. After all, what's the point of cheaping out if you're just gonna get a complete piece of junk? Actually, you might as well just saved even more money and not, and not bought it at all. Hey, that was a tech wiki. Thanks for watching the whole video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow for tech wikis.